Good morning, class. Welcome to Jesus Time today. Um, we are going to still review our John 14, verse 6 passage. We're going to do it a little, little differently today, so watch for that after we do our um, opening prayer. Let's get started. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you for being with us today. Please help us to hear your word and learn to love you even more. Amen. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Sometimes a great way to remember Bible passages is to try to find a way to sing them. So for this week, we'll just be singing those words together. All right, and our lesson for the week talks about um, something that happened on Easter Sunday and then um, a little bit later, like the, the following week. And it is the account where the Bible tells us about um, a disciple named Thomas. This says, Jesus helps Thomas believe. So you can see Jesus, he's the one in the white, and Thomas is this disciple, this friend of Jesus is next to him. And he's looking at those holes on Jesus' hands. Those are marks that Jesus got from the cross when he was on the cross dying for, our, for us so we could get our sins forgiven. Um, that hurt Jesus' body, and he still had marks from that. So that's what, you, what Thomas is looking at in the picture. But let's talk about how that happened. So it was Easter Sunday. It was that nighttime, and um, some of Jesus' disciples, his special friends that were his helpers, they were all together in one house with the doors locked because they were afraid of of Jesus' enemies, that they were going to come and get them too. When the women that were at the tomb that saw that it was empty, they came running and tell, told the disciples the great news. But the disciples still didn't quite know what to think about it. So they were still behind this, this locked door in this house together when all of a sudden Jesus showed up. He was there with them. And he said, peace be to you. And he even ate a piece of fish so they knew that it was really his whole body was there. He was alive. And the disciples were so happy. They were so excited that they got to see him. But one disciple wasn't there. Thomas wasn't there that day. So he didn't get to see Jesus. So when he got to his friends and they said, Thomas, guess what? Guess what? We saw Jesus. He's alive. Thomas couldn't believe it. He, he doubted that. He said, oh, I need to see Jesus. I need to, to touch him where he got the always from the cross, the nail marks. I need to see that for myself. I just, I can't believe it unless I see it. So one week later, so seven days later, it was Sunday again, and the disciples were together again behind um, a locked door in a house all together, still nervous to be around when he, they knew that Jesus' enemies were still in Jerusalem. And this time Thomas was with them, and now the Lord showed up again. Jesus showed up again, and he said, Peace be with you. And Thomas was there, and Jesus walked to Thomas, and he said, Thomas, look. Look at my body. See those nail marks? He also said he could see on his side. He had a, a, a cut on his side from when he hung on the cross, and Jesus showed him that cut too. And then he said, Thomas, don't doubt anymore. Believe in me. I'm really here. And Thomas said, my Lord and my God. And Thomas didn't doubt anymore. Now Thomas believed. He knew that Jesus was alive. And then Jesus said one more thing to him. He said, um, you've seen me and you've believed in me. But blessed are those who haven't seen me but still believe. And then Jesus left them and he, he had more work to do. So that is our lesson for today. How, how are we like Thomas? How are we not like Thomas? Well, we need to see things before we believe them. We'll be talking about that more um, this week during our Jesus time. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you for story time later today.